in Vegas and want to make the most of your time here? How does knocking at the Grand Canyon off your bucket list sound? Now, what if we told you that you could do that in four hours or less? Well, you absolutely can. Here's how. Up bright and early, ready to take in some sights of the Grand Canyon. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good one. All right, it's about 8 a.m. Just waiting for the shuttle to come pick us up and take us to the Maverick Terminal where the adventure will begin. Today's adventure will take us on a helicopter flight over to the west rim of the Grand Canyon. This experience is really special because we're gonna be going to the bottom of the Grand Canyon at an exclusive Maverick helicopter landing site where no one else gets access to it just us, so it's gonna be a good day. Oh, there's our shuttle now, let's go. have made it out here to the bottom of the west rim of the Grand Canyon. Um, we're at Maverick Helicopters exclusive landing site. Oh my god, it is such a beautiful day! Morning is a really great time to come. It, there's a little bit of a mist. It's not too hot, not too cold. Springtime is definitely a lovely time to be here. If you take a look around, as you can see, there are no roads. No way to get here other than by helicopter, EC-130 to be exact. <laughs> super safe, super quiet, eco-friendly, really roomy, great views, all that jazz. The terrain out here is definitely kind of rocky, so it is really recommended to wear a sturdy sole and closed-toed shoes. You don't have to go too intense, honestly. You don't need to wear like hardcore hiking boots or anything like that. Just wear something that you are comfortable in, that you can move around in, that you can get in and out of the helicopter in. Wow. Another observation that you might have, there are no restrooms out here. That's right, so be sure to take care of that prior to departure. <laughs> it's always a good idea. Otherwise, there's also like a his and her cacti, you know? Down here, you get a really up close and personal view of the mighty Colorado River. The river that is largely responsible for the formation of this canyon. Look at that. Can you imagine how long that must have taken? Uh, uh, <laughs> nice. Ooh, nice full cup. There you go. Mm, thank you. All right, pro tip from Pilot Joe. <laughs> you have some champagne and you have some orange juice on your flight. What does that make? Uh, mimosa, right? Absolutely. Wait, what's what what part? Mimosa or orange juice? I think you have the ratios backwards, but I'm I think I do. You. But you know, what? this is okay. <laughs> this works too. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Pilot Joe. How's it going? Yep. Joseph. Yep. He is one of our lovely pilots here at Maverick Helicopters. How long have you been flying for? About six years. Uh, what can you tell us about Maverick's pilot standards and safety standards in comparison to other places? Maverick definitely has the best training as well as the best type of uh, maintenance. So it really makes me as a pilot being able to fly every day in a helicopter that I know is safe. Uh, so it's a really, really good feeling to have that. Nice. That is a good feeling. Uh, what can you say about our EC-130 helicopters? I'm 
you know, how does that stand out above the rest of them? Uh, the EC-130 is pretty much a helicopter that was specifically designed to do tours. So it mm -hmm. has a great view in every seat that you sit in. Right, true. Um, so for this coming out to an area like this, uh, it just makes it a lot easier for everyone to get a good view. People aren't fighting over the seats. Um, so that's really good for us so we don't have to kind of, you know, gamble with who gets to sit in the front. Yeah, yeah, the front, yeah. So no, it's no true. Matter. You gotta check it out for yourself and you'll find out real quick that there is not a bad seat in the house. You're yeah, awesome. awesome. Thank you so yeah, much. Not a problem. <laughs>